Well, hello there, friends and family. So good to see you tonight. It's been a while since you've been back in the little old country kitchen. And what we're having tonight, you may have had before. And what are we having? We're having some Mrs. Paul breaded fish for sandwiches we are. I'll tell you what, I've been a fan of the McDonald's filet of fish over the years, and I've ate many of them. But I'll tell you what, once I found Mrs. Paul breaded fish for sandwiches and cooked it up the first time, I knew I'd found something way better. And of course, we've got to have some buns, some American processed cheese, of course, some Kraft tartar sauce. And for me, I like to put on some finely chopped onion and some pickles too. And it's so easy. Just prepare for the package directions. 16 to 20 minutes in a preheated oven at 450. We'll get them on your plate. So there we have it. Now of course you're going to need a baking sheet. Make sure you spray it with some spray so they don't stick. So hey, I know it's rather simple and it's not much, but I thought since you all stopped by, might as well show you what we're having for supper tonight. So let's get it going on. Now, we got our baking sheet and we got it all sprayed. So now we're just gonna place our Mrs. Paul breaded fish filet sandwich patties on the sheet. It ain't hard, just look at those. All crispy and golden brown, or they soon will be. We'll put one there, and another one right there, just like that. Cause we'll be having two tonight. Now, the only other thing we need to do is pop these into a 450 degree, that's Fahrenheit that is, preheated oven. They say for 16 to 20 minutes, but I've found mine takes a little longer because I'm using my countertop convection oven, which I'll set for 25. So let's get them into the oven so we can start making up delicious filet -O fish sandwich. Better than a McDonald's, I think, and maybe you will too. Well, there you have it. We just took them out of the oven when the timer went off. Two golden brown, crispy, crunchy Mrs. Paul's fish fillets. For sandwiches, that is. Now all we have to do is build up our sandwiches so we can enjoy. So let's get them on the bread or the buns. Place one patty right there. Mmm, smelling fine. And another one right there. Now, while they're still nice and toasty hot, we're going to add a slice of American cheese. Ooh, look at that. Not like no McDonald's here, where you only get a half a slice of cheese on their fish, filet of fish. We're getting a whole slice of cheese. Ooh, and that's going to melt and soften while it sits there as we add our toppings. So what I like to do is I like to put on my tartar sauce first and give it a little shake. And we're using the Kraft brand because it's what I have. And I like a generous amount. Ooh, yeah. Rich and creamy it is. Then we're going to sprinkle on a few of those onions. Not a lot. I think it adds so much flavor. And a little bit of crispy crunch too. And then of course, you got to have some pickles. Yes, we do. Kosher dills, in fact. And we'll just place three of them on top. right there put the top of our bun on and it was just that easy and just that quick 
yeah now all we gotta do is give them a little taste test but i already know they're pretty yummy too let's just give one a bite Mmm. Woo. Mm mm mm. That's so good. Ooh, it's crispy and crunchy. And the fish is flaky too. I've had a many a filet fish from McDonald's. But once I found these and made my first sandwich, I knew I liked them better in the filet of fish from McDonald's. And you can put whatever kind of toppings you want on them. And that is suit yourself. But that's what I'm having for supper tonight. But let me know in the comments below the video. Have you ever tried Mrs. Paul's breaded fish fillets for sandwiches? If so, let me know. Or maybe you prefer some other kind. But hey, that's all I got for y'all. So I'm going to leave you now so I can enjoy my sandwiches. So until I, the kitty crew, you know them all, Cleo, Spooky, Speedy, sometimes he, Cliff, and rarely old Fluffy Muffin, and of course little Gracie too, the queen of the house. See y'all on that next video. Y'all take care, stay safe, and God bless you as you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. Ooh, I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go on camera because I'm looking a little rough. Been down under the weather, as I might say. Mm -mm -mm. Those are good.